So this is an image captured by the super wide-angle camera on the back of the smartphone. So compared to the traditional main camera, there is much more field of view. So this is an image from the main camera, and this is the image from the super wide-angle camera. Uh, so by putting more field of view, we the super wide-angle camera has some distortion effect. So we can see on the corners here the distortion, so the lines are not straight. So one first basic processing is to straighten the line to correct this balance distortion. So in this case, so we apply the algorithm, a basic algorithm to straighten the line. The drawback of this basic algorithm is first we have to crop the field of view, so the object on the corners, you can see for example the building here, are not present anymore with in the processed image, that's the first drawback. The second drawback is this algorithm do not maintain the object proportion, especially on the, uh, the edges or border of the image. So you can see the fire pump, for example, uh, the proportion change very much. So this is the two drawback of the traditional distortion correction algorithm. So the, another uh, aspect uh, of uh, the distortion uh, in the super wide angle uh, lenses is uh, the perspective distortion. So you can see, depending the orientation of the camera, uh, the building could appear like this. So distorted plus distorted plus uh, converging in uh, in one point. So the parallels not, are not parallel anymore. So another type of algorithm that we can apply is this algorithm to correct the perspective distortion. And this effect of perspective distortion is even much more present in uh, with the uh, ultra-wide angle lenses. Another drawback of uh, ultra-wide angle lenses is the, the object proportion on the edges. So as you can see here, um, the lady on the edges is uh, very much stretched by the lens and the distortion correction algorithm. So we develop at Immer Vision an algorithm to maintain the object proportion and to correct the, this, those proportions directly in video. So you can see the demo here where in live we can correct directly compared to the original. So this is the original image, but in applying the correction, you can see that uh, the lady on the right can get his normal shape. This algorithm is very flexible, so we can change the projection in real time depending the content of the scene. Here is an example of different projection applied on the same image, but it can be applied on the video in real time. So depending the content of the scene or the effect we want to create, this adaptive distortion correction algorithm can be changed and in preview, in video, and also for picture. If you remember, one compromise we have to do when we apply distortion correction on the super wide angle camera is, so we have to compromise between FOV, straight line, and object and face proportion. So you can see how the line are bended, plus also the people are stretched and the face are distorted because of uh, the ultra-wide angle camera uh, distortion. So we provide an algorithm that allows to first straighten the line uh, of the background, then also change the object proportion in real time. So here it's the, you can see the people are quite stretched and also change the face uh, distortion as well. So by combining all those different algorithms, we can correct the face uh, distortion, put, recreate the right uh, body proportion while maintaining the straight line. So this is um, one strength of uh, the adaptive distortion correction algorithm. And all those processing can be applied live on preview and video as well.